The Skinwalker is a figure from Native American folklore, particularly within Navajo culture. It is believed to be a malevolent witch or shapeshifter capable of assuming the form of various animals. The Navajo term for Skinwalker is Yi Naldlushi, which translates to, with it he goes on all fours, in reference to the ability of these beings to transform into animals. The name reflects the central aspect of the Skinwalker legend, where individuals who practice dark magic acquire the ability to shapeshift into various animals by wearing the animal's skin. This transformation allows them to move with the agility and characteristics of the chosen animal. One famous Skinwalker tale is known as The Legend of the Skinwalker's Revenge. Long ago, there lived a young Navajo man named Kaito, who was known for his arrogance and disrespect towards the natural world. Despite warnings from his elders, Kaito continued to hunt animals for sport, showing no regard for their spirits or the balance of nature. One fateful day, Kaido encountered an elderly Navajo woman gathering herbs in the forest. Ignoring her warnings, he callously killed a deer that she had been observing. Enraged by his actions, the woman revealed herself to be a powerful witch, and cursed Kaito, transforming him into a skinwalker. Cursed to roam the earth as a vengeful spirit, Kaito's appearance changed into a monstrous form with animalistic features. He became a terror in the night, preying on those who showed disrespect for the natural world. As the years passed, Kaito's thirst for revenge grew stronger, and he targeted those who had wronged him in the past. Many villagers fell victim to his wrath, and tales of the vengeful skinwalker spread far and wide. It is said that Kaido's spirit was never at peace, forever tormented by his actions in life. The legend of Kaido serves as a cautionary tale, emphasizing the importance of living in harmony with nature. Another Navajo tradition story known as The Legend of the Skinwalker's Curse. Long ago, there lived a young Navajo man named Sohanoai. He was known for his bravery and hunting skills, but he was also known for his jealousy and desire for power. Sohanoai envied the strength and abilities of the Skinwalker as powerful being capable of transforming into animals and wielding dark magic. One night, Sohanoai ventured into the desert alone, seeking the guidance of a Skinwalker. After days alone in the wilderness, he found an old gnarled tree standing alone in the moonlight, a known place to be haunted by the Skinwalker. As he approached the tree, he called out to the spirits, begging them to grant him their power. Suddenly, a figure emerged from the shadows, its form shifting and twisting in the moonlight. It was a skinwalker, and it offered Sohanoai a deal. In exchange for his soul, he would be granted the ability to transform into any animal he desired. Eager for power, Sohanoai agreed to the skinwalker's terms. With a whispered incantation, the skinwalker cursed him. From that day forward, Sohanoai roamed the desert as a cursed creature, becoming a desert skinwalker. Over time, as he realized the true cost of his bargain, Sohanoai's jealousy turned to regret. He was no longer human, but a twisted abomination, forever tormented by the echoes of his past. And so, the legend of the Skinwalker's curse serves as a cautionary tale warning of the dangers of the pursuit of power at any cost. In Navajo culture, the Skinwalker is considered a taboo subject, and discussing it openly is avoided out of respect for its perceived power and danger. According to legend, a skinwalker gains its abilities through dark magic and can use them to harm others. This harm can range from causing illness and misfortune to more sinister actions up to obsession. Encounters with the skinwalker often occurring in remote areas or during the night. Some individuals and groups claim to have encountered skinwalkers in areas with a high concentration of Navajo culture, such as the American Southwest. In recent years, the concept of skinwalkers has gained popularity in paranormal and supernatural communities leading to an increase in reported sightings and encounters. While there is no definitive way to know if you have encountered a skinwalker, there are some common signs and experiences that people attribute to such encounters, such as hearing unexplained sounds like footsteps, growls, or eerie howling in remote areas, especially at night. Additionally, observing unusual animal behavior, such as animals behaving strangely or appearing to watch you intently, especially if they seem to be under the influence of an unseen force, feelings of being watched when alone in remote areas, or catching glimpses of shadowy figures or humanoid shapes in the distance, especially in areas associated with skinwalker legends, are also reported. Dealing with or confronting a skinwalker is considered highly dangerous, and specific rituals or methods to defeat them are not explicitly outlined. However, the best way to deal with a skinwalker is considered to be avoiding it. In Navajo tradition, discussing skinwalkers openly is discouraged, as it is believed to attract their attention. It's recommended to avoid drawing attention to a potential skinwalker encounter. The belief is that acknowledging or showing recognition of a skinwalker, whether in the shape of an animal or another form, can potentially attract their attention or provoke them.
As a precaution, individuals who believe they have encountered a skinwalker may choose to act as if they haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary and continue on their way without engaging or staring at the entity. This is thought to minimize the risk of escalating the situation or drawing unwanted attention from the skinwalker. Ultimately, according to Navajo legends, this creature still roams its territories, with two of them believed to exist, one in the desert and another in the woods near Navajo areas. The areas where skinwalkers are believed to roam include the desert deserts and wooded areas of the American Southwest, particularly regions inhabited by the Navajo people. 